always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Well, many of us are still digging out. We're already getting ready for our next rounds of snow. It's quiet right now. Temperatures are near freezing. We are going to be falling below freezing tonight. and We expect another round of snow to move in in the next several hours. This next round is going to be pretty light. So as we look at the next 24 hours here, we're going to be seeing not one, but two waves of snow. And the second wave is going to be even more significant than the one that we've been experiencing. So let that sink in because this one was definitely a bit of a doozy, especially if you're out on the roads. All right, so here are the finer details. Thursday, cool in the morning, snow is expected. We're going to be seeing about one to two inches of accumulation overnight tonight through Thursday morning. Friday becoming windy with heavy snow arriving. It looks like the heavy snow should be in place by the afternoon, but it could even start to inch in by the time we get to the late morning hours. This continues into Saturday with blowing snow and becoming very cold. So Friday and Saturday looking like a high impact system. Let's start with Thursday night. And uh, as we work throughout the next uh, 24 hours here, you can see that we have the light snow that's going to be moving in for tonight into Thursday. Not expecting too terribly much. Snowfall future cast showing uh, close to about an inch to two inches of accumulation in total. So again, tonight into tomorrow, not looking all that bad. Thursday night, we dip below freezing. And then Friday, we get ready for this winter storm. So as of now, we have a winter storm watch that's been issued for our entire viewing area. This starts at 10 a.m. on Friday. It goes through 1 o'clock on Saturday. And this isn't just for a typical winter storm. It really is looking like a higher impact winter storm with 10 to 14 inches of snow, winds between 20 to 40 miles per hour, and that means dangerous travel. This is a first look at how much snow we're expecting for just Friday and Saturday. Many of us picking up close to 10 inches of snow, and it looks uh, very likely that a handful of our communities could pick up more than a foot. So that's a pretty hefty snowfall rate between Friday and Saturday to get that much snow to stack up. This is a look at the wind gust future cast. And the wind gust future cast is looking pretty likely to be giving us a good uh, gust between 30 to even 40 miles per hour as this system cuts through. Forecast track has been pretty persistent and dragging the center of low pressure right across Michigan Friday into Saturday. It's a fast mover, but it's very strong. So Friday is going to be more heavy snow. Saturday is going to be more blowing snow and wind. And after it passes, we expect Arctic cold to begin to pour in. So the Arctic has been staying pretty clear of West Michigan, but it's definitely going to be moving in this week. We expect some of our wind chills to be between 5 to 25 below. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So an Arctic blast on the way after a big impactful storm. It's going to be a very uh, difficult week of weather ahead.